Hey guys, it's time to look at this lettuce again. This is the setup that I have that's growing what I would say 100% off grid, no electricity needed. I don't have an air pump hooked up to it, no water circulating pump, anything like that up under this lettuce. And it is flat out kicking butt. This is called the Kratky method. Again, K-R-A-T-K-Y. I'm not gonna go into all the details. Got another video about that. I'll just put a link up at the top or somewhere at the bottom. But I can't tell you how impressed I am with this setup. To be able to take a reservoir, fill it with water and your nutrient solution, put your plants in it and walk away. That's how simple this is. Anybody can do it. You can get an idea of just how big this head of lettuce is right here. Absolutely beautiful. Inside of it, no tip burn, no uh, deformities, defections whatsoever. You see one missing right here. Yesterday was one of those rare situations when I wasn't around. And for whatever reason, the building inspector came by yesterday. And my wife showed him the greenhouses out here, talked to him a while. He left with tomatoes and peppers. And he makes salads every day, he said. He sure would like to have some lettuce. So the local building inspector got the very first head of lettuce to come out of this run right here. Just like the commercial growers that you see with their rafts where they pick the raft up and you see all the lettuce on it and the roots hanging out the bottom, this is the same thing right here. Beautiful, clean roots, no algae. That was a question that got asked several times. What do you do about algae? There are no algae problems with this cracky setup right here because of the fact that the raft sits on top of the ledge on the side, it blocks the sun out and you don't have any problems with it. 100% no electricity needed whatsoever, produces some great heads of lettuce. Uh, Lord willing, I will be doing a whole lot more of this. It's just so simple, really easy to set up, uh, no maintenance whatsoever, just set it and forget it. And the only thing I have to do is come by and slice up under here, take this head of lettuce and put it in a bag, uh, throw a cucumber and a couple of tomatoes in it and a pepper, hand it to somebody, and they've got a very good meal to eat much better than anything they get in the grocery store. Whether they're talking about vegetables or uh, canned goods, something like that, uh, I can feed a whole lot of people in a setup like this. But not everybody has the space to put something like this together. Uh, a lot of people in apartments, condos, townhome, or maybe just staying with somebody else and you can't uh, set this up, or even worse, you can't even do the stuff where you bring soil and pot mix into the house. You can do this on a much smaller scale. This container, is what I had made for a cloner box. You see the extra holes right here. What I was gonna do was use it to root uh, tomato suckers. And what I decided to do was cut the holes out a little bit bigger and put some net cups in here. And as you can see, doing quite well. This is a situation where you just take this tub, fill it with your water nutrient solution, put your little plants down here. Uh, if you have a lighted uh, window somewhere, this window that gets pretty good sunlight, set it up in that window and just watch it grow. Very simple. You don't have to worry about any type of watering. You don't have any soil that's going to you know, get all over your floor. Very easy to work with. Also, not everybody has the ability to grow vegetables in ground or even raised beds because they have back trouble. They may be confined to a wheelchair. They just don't have the mobility. You can take containers like this fill it with your nutrient solution and put your plants in it and set it up, you know, three foot tall, whatever you need to be able to uh, access it. Where if you wanted to come by and just check the leaves occasionally, if you see an aphid, you know, just pick the little aphid off or something like that and still be able to enjoy gardening. Right here is another one. This is a 10 gallon tote that I've got two cabbages in. A couple of early Jersey Wakefields. I probably have eight gallons of a nutrient solution in there. And I feel like that should be enough to take these things to term. Probably going to take at least 60 days growing in this because cabbages are much slower than lettuce. I had a back and forth with uh, somebody in the comment section about doing something like this. I'm not sure if this is exactly what he had in mind. This is very easy to do. Just get you some totes, fill it with water, put your lid on it. And if you're somebody who has a limited supply of water and you don't like the idea of watering plants in the ground because you know a lot of it dissipates through the soil, evaporates. In a setup like this, there's virtually zero evaporation. Very little at all, very efficient use of uh, the, what water that you have. Do y'all remember the pak choy that I had growing in a little small OxyClean tub like this? 
set up like a Dutch bucket. I showed this little guy a while back. This is a pak choy growing in a little five pound OxyClean container. This is one that I had in my Dutch bucket set up. As you can see, that plant did extremely well in a very small container. I took another OxyClean tub, cleaned it out, and didn't drill a hole in it because I didn't want to use it like a Dutch bucket. I used it just like a regular container for cracky stuff and set me a lettuce plant in it. And you can see how pretty this lettuce plant looks now. Looking up under the bottom of it, see how clean those roots are? You don't see algae and gunk all over them. Very clean little setup. I say it again, anybody can do this. And real quick, before I cut this head of lettuce, I need to mention I'll be on Prepper Broadcasting again, as always, the first and third Friday of each month, 9 p.m. Eastern. Hope to see you guys there. And I'm gonna cut me a nice big old head of lettuce. Ain't she a beauty? That's fine. Walmart can't touch what I got. Y'all take care. Lord willing, I'll see you next time.